If you saw my last arc video, this one is going to be taking that one to another level. Now this build actually comes from a recommendation from one of you guys. So Equinox commented on the last video and actually said that the build was super fun, but that he also enjoys using Moth Keepers with Ark because it adds a little bit more blind to the actual build. So I took that and I kind of wanted to add it into the Ark build to make it still fun, but also add a little bit more finesse to it. So Equinox, thank you for the recommendation, man. If you guys would like to have your recommendations in some of my videos, definitely put them in the comments below. I would love to actually have them. Again, I really enjoy the way you guys look at the game because it's completely different from the way I look at it. I think there's some amazing things that could come out of your recommendations and I just love seeing them. But let's go ahead and hop into the build. So today we're going to be starting off with the two stars of the show. First off, we will start with X Deidris, which is going to be the exotic weapon of choice. Now, for the intrinsic trait of this weapon. So, this weapon enrages when dealing or taking sustained damage, gaining increased rate of fire while enraged. For the perk, Loyal Moths. Final blows with this weapon create a loyal moth. The moth will seek out nearby targets and detonate, damaging and blinding them. So doing damage with this weapon will increase the rate of fire as well as getting kills with it will cause those loyal moths to spawn and do damage and cause blinding explosions. Now on top of that, we're gonna be stacking our moth keepers wraps. So we're gonna keep the moth game going, right? So the perk of the wraps. Your grenade becomes a cage of loyal moths that release on impact and fly towards the nearest target or ally. If they reach a target, they detonate in a blinding explosion. If they reach an ally, the moths grant your ally a void overshield. So this again gives us a lot more grenade damage because the moths do an insane amount of damage as well as it gives us void overshield for a little bit more survivability on the arc subclass. Now hopping into the subclass itself. So of course we're using gathering storm for the super then we're going to be using gambler's dodge triple jump disorienting blow and we're using flashbang grenade because it gives us the lowest cooldown out of all of the grenades now for the aspects we're going to be using tempest strike while sliding activate your charged melee ability to unleash a devastating uppercut attack that travels along the ground in front of you damaging and jolting targets it hits so we get that jolting effect out of our tempest strike. Next aspect is going to be flow state. So defeating a jolted target makes you amplified. While you are amplified, your dodge recharges more quickly, you are more resilient while dodging, and your reload speed is greatly increased. So when we jolt targets with tempest strike, we then kill them to become amplified, which then feeds into everything else. So for the fragments, we're gonna be using spark of shock, your arc grenades jolt targets. So that one just makes the moths also jolt because they do still count as arc grenades. So we get the blinding effect and the jolting effect plus the explosion from the moths. Next, we're gonna be using spark of beacons. While you are amplified, your arc special weapon final blows create a blinding explosion. So not only do our moths do blinding, but our actual exotic weapon now adds a blinding effect on kill. Spark of Resistance, while surrounded by combatants, you are more resistant to incoming damage. So this just gives us more resistance for survivability. And the last one, Spark of Discharge. Arc weapon final blows have a chance to create an ionic trace. Getting those kills with our ex Deidris will then have a chance to spawn ionic traces, which in return will give us more ability energy to throw more grenades for moths. So you can kind of see how everything is kind of working together here. For these stats, as always, I'll go 100 resistance resilience first, then discipline, and then mobility. That is always my stat distribution for all of my hunter builds across the board. And if you guys want me to make a video explaining that, let me know. So now for the mods, in the helmet, we're going to be running one harmonic siphon, a special ammo finder so that we can get more ammo for our ex -Degers and then ashes to assets. On our moth keepers, we're gonna be running a grenade kickstart, impact induction, and bolstering detonation. On our chest piece, of course, as always, run whatever resistances you need to run. For the boots, we're gonna be running two innervations and a recuperation. And on our class item, we're running one bomber, one reaper, and powerful attraction. So as far as the gameplay loop goes, I would start out with Tempest Strike and then immediately throw a moth grenade. At that point, just use X Deidris to murder whatever you can murder so that more moths spawn and you can get those ionic traces 
to then return more grenade energy and get your tempest strike back faster because the more moths you have the more blinding the more jolt and the more overshields you and your allies can get but that is this build that is everything that goes into it let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and again if you guys have recommendations whether for a build like this or a different build on hunter please put them in the comment section below as well i love to see them and as well as it gives you a chance to be featured in one of my build videos but that's going to be it for today hope you guys have a great day and i will see you next time